there's that man again. So what makes a fragrance powerful? Is it the sillage? Is it the scent profile? Uh, or if it's something that you spray too many times and you empty out a room? Well, I got five that just might do that. Stay tuned. What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the Teddy Files. I am your resident sommelier, Mr. Dearest Teddy. And today I'm going to talk about five powerful fragrances that I have in my collection that definitely will turn heads, but if you spray too many times, they will turn people away. So stay tuned. I'll let you, tell, let you see what I got. The first fragrance that I have is a citrusy, smoky fragrance that has been... Uh, dubbed by many to be the prime Creed Aventus clone, and that would be Club Day Nui, Intense Man. Let me pull that thing back a little bit. Yeah. So um, it took me a while to get this one. Um, and I don't know why I was taking my time. I think I was just concentrating on other fragrances that I wanted to purchase. But when I finally went on and pulled the trigger on this and got it in and sprayed it, man. I was I was pleasantly surprised and um, I fell in love immediately fell in love with this this is extremely close extremely close a little bit just a little bit darker just a little bit smokier than Creed Aventus but this is on point this is this is definitely a prime fragrance man um, it's one that has turned many heads for me Oh man, my Mrs. Grizz absolutely loves this. this. Is her favorite fragrance. I spray this, she's all over me every single time. It never fails. Uh, but I only spray it four times. That is the ultimate amount of sprays that I get that I use because anything above that will be obnoxious. And I'm pretty sure at that moment, Mrs. Grizz will probably run back into the cave because uh, it's just too much. It'll it, it'll choke you out of a room if you spray it too many times. But a good four sprays has lasted me eight to ten hours every single time not never failed um, I mean the thing has you know it has lemon pineapple bergamot black currant apple birch I mean it has a lot of the same fragrance notes that creative Events has and um, it's a beautiful fragrance it is perfect for date night um, I've worn it in the office. Um, I'm not going to say it's absolutely perfect. You may have to give yourself about two sprays in the office. Um, I mean, I've done four. I didn't uh, offend anyone, but I think if I went above four sprays, then I probably would have had a problem. But um, like I said, this one, this is a very good fragrance. If I were you, I would go out and get my hands on it. Uh, I will put a link in the description box for each one of these fragrances I'm going to talk about today so you guys can go out and if you haven't gotten this already, don't wait on it. Go out and get your own. Club Day Nui. Intense man. So the next fragrance that I have up is one that I definitely did a blind buy on. Um, I saw the fragrance notes online. Thought it might be interesting. So go ahead and just go and pull the trigger. I pulled the trigger and man, was I extremely happy with my purchase and that would be Yes, I am the King Lion by Chipotle's. This, this fragrance here is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. It has a bit of a scent profile, kind of like, um, let's see, what does this remind me of? It reminds me of someone back here. Oh. It reminds me of this guy. Stronger with you. It has a lot of the same scent profile, but definitely um, has its own thing going on. I mean, you got pineapple, cinnamon, bergamot, uh, cedar wood, mint, artemisia, plum, cocoa, patchouli, and amber wood to give you this rich, thick, sweet fragrance. Now, if you don't like sweet fragrances, you are probably not going to like this one, but. For me, this is right up my alley, man. right up my alley. But once again, this 
video is about powerful fragrances. This is a very powerful one. And this thing sticks to your skin like glue. And it's gonna last for quite a while on your skin. Same with Club de Nuit. You got eight to 10 hours out of it. I think I may have done another four sprays for this one. Um, and that's all I needed. That's absolutely all I needed for this because it lasts, it, it, it dries down beautifully. It still has some of the sweetness that it opens with, but you get a little bit more woodsy in the dry down. But it is, it, it is an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. Good for date night, uh, good for the office if you want to wear it there. Um, I'm not one that would wear something like this to do errands or anything like that. You can, you can wear a fragrance for whatever you want. But for me, it's more for those other occasions, like I said, like if I wanted to wear it in the office or if I wanted to go out on a date night with my lady. This one right here also, got your magnetic cap. Doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people. I like them. So if you're into sweet fragrances and um, you kind of want to get somewhat close to the scent profile of Stronger With You, but not, it's not a one-to-one, -one. it's not 100% close. I mean, it may be 70, but it puts you in the mind of Stronger With You. And um, you can't go wrong with, yes, I am the King Lion. Check it out. So the next fragrance that I have coming up is another blind buy. Um, decided to give it a shot because I like the fragrance notes. I mean, the fragrance notes are Artemisia. It has smoky incense, olibanum. Uh, it's pretty elegant. It's an elegant fragrance. It's strong, but um, it's it's not your typical fragrance. And that would be um, Killer Oud Midnight Ecstasy by Paris Corner. This fragrance right here, like I said, it's not your typical everyday fragrance. I mean, you know, you got your oud, uh, you have, like I said, you have sandalwood, it's very smoky, incense -y. it's resinous, it is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance, gorgeous. Now, it may not resonate with everyone, but because I'm really into fragrances, this right here, it, it, it is right up my alley. It's slightly powdery. Not a lot, just slightly, just a, a, a tidbit powder. You pick up on it, but it doesn't stay on your skin. It's a lot more sweet and incense-y and, 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 and just very balsamic. It is um, it is a beautiful, gorgeous fragrance. And um, I am so glad that I purchased this. I'm extremely glad that I purchased this. Um, now, it's not for everyone. And once again, this one, I did two sprays because of how strong it is. I mean, it, it just overpowered everything else I just smelled. I just sprayed. It overpowered all of it. This one right here, I did two sprays and that's it. I did two on the back of my neck. That's it. Now, if you're more adventurous, you can go ahead and spray it as many times as you want. I would not recommend it. I would not recommend it because this one right here, if you overspray it, you will choke out the room. And it will remind you that it is killer oud. Midnight Ecstasy, and it has So the next fragrance that I have on my list is one that if you overspray this, you're absolutely insane. I'm just going to call it right now. You're absolutely insane. And that would be Frank Boclay's Cafe. So this is Cafe by Frank Boclet, and I'm going to be completely honest. I did not like it when I first sprayed it because it was, it, I didn't think it smelled very good. I didn't like, I didn't like it initially right off the bat. I was upset. Once again, another blind buy. And uh, this is one purchase that I thought, okay, I'm going to regret this one. And um, so what I had to do was be a little bit more mature and allow my nose to really take in the scent, take in the fragrance. And um, I have to say that once I decided to put my big boy pants on and go ahead and give this a full wearing, I absolutely love it. I absolutely enjoy it. Now, it has a very, very strong scent of coffee 
at the top, but it's not the coffee like roasted coffee. It's more like a coffee berry, which tastes, which smells completely different than coffee. It has coffee, bergamot, lily, rosemary, orange blossom, and rose. You get a little bit of the rose, but you get more of the woodsy nature, like the the moss, the patchouli, and a little bit of the sandalwood. Some of the amber, but it's mostly right off the top. You got that strong strong coffee berry smell and man and it's smoky it's almost like how can i describe this it's almost but like being in an old school coffee bar or, or like a almost like one of those uh like a jazz club where you got the people around you that are drinking their coffee um smoking cigarettes cigars things of that nature you got the jazz music going on it's not jazz club. It does not smell like jazz club. So don't 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 get me wrong. It's not what this smells like. Do not mistake this at all for jazz club, because this one right here is an acquired taste, and everybody's not going to acquire it. I promise you. But if you're a little bit adventurous, um, this will be worth getting your hands on. What I will say is this: Look, two sprays. That was it for me. For this, that was it, and it sticks to your skin like glue. It sticks to your skin like glue. Um, it's not overly pricey. I think I paid about uh, $89 for it or so. And um, I'm, I'm impressed at the dry down and what it smells like in the dry down uh, as you wear it throughout the day. It's going to be on your skin for about 8 to 10 hours. So you got to be ready to commit to this scent. Now, it is not for the faint of heart. And if you're not ready for this type of scent prof profile, it is not blind by safe at all. It's not. So if you're just a casual buyer and not really a collector like myself, don't do that. Don't don't do that to yourself. Maybe see if you can get a decant. I'm not sure if you can get one from anywhere, but if you can, try to get a decant of this before you purchase it. But um, once again, if you decide you want to purchase this, and if you decide you want to spray it uh, too many times over the spray limit, which for me is two, your spray limit can be whatever you want it to be but understand you will be kicking people out of the room if you overspray this one because this one will quickly remind you that so the last one on the list is one that i bought because of a fragrance that has been talked about on youtube um starman nebula i absolutely i actually have that fragrance as well but then I go back out on the site, um, and that would be Fragrance World, and um, I saw that they had Starman out there. And, I, and what I understand, it is a clone of Mugler's Amen. I've never smelled it. I'm not sure. But um, I decided to get uh, Starman for the park huh? And that's the, uh, that's the blue, the blue juice. And um, this, is, this is gorgeous, man. This is gorgeous. Now... You can't find the fragrance notes anywhere online. I look, and and if if somebody can find them, please put them in the uh, comment section if if you can. I would love to know exactly um, what the actual fragrance notes are. But what I get when I smell it, I smell patchouli. I smell patchouli. I smell chocolate, and I smell cedar. And um, it's it's almost it's almost has a bit of a, uh, a boozy blast kind of like um, Starman Nebula but not quite as boozy Starman Nebula is boozy and sweet this one is a little bit more it has a sweetness to it but it almost has a little slight bit of more of a uh, fougere type quality to it it's a great scent it's it's a it's a beautiful scent I absolutely enjoy it but once again Will I say this is blind buy safe? No, I will not say it. Once again, I collect fragrances, so I will blind buy a lot of these things so that I can get on here, spray it, talk about it. If I hate it, I'll absolutely tell you I can't stand it. But if I do like it, which I do like this one, um, I'll let you know. Now, you can buy at your own risk if this is something that you want to purchase, but I'll say this. I love it. I enjoy it. And it's another one that gives me a good eight hours on my skin. I have had no problem with longevity, no problem with any of these fragrances that I've talked about with the Siage or any of that type of stuff. Get about an hour, maybe an hour and a half of Siage out of each one of this, these. 
This one might push it towards the two hour mark. Um, that's what it did for me when I wore it. I wear, I work in an office environment, so I can actually wear these things. I don't work outside, so it's not like in the summer heat is hitting me. So I'm actually perfectly safe wearing this. But once again, this one got four sprays out of me. It's not as strong as the other two that I just spoke of, but four sprays is enough. Four sprays is enough. People, listen, listen to me, please. Four sprays. Don't don't do don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to the people that you work with. Show some love, man. But um, once again, this is a great fragrance. I absolutely love it. I absolutely enjoy it. Uh, blind by safe won't say that, but if you're adventurous like myself, if you're a collector like myself, um, this might be something that you might want to take a look into. But once again, if you overspray it. You will be reminded by this fragrance that Well, once again, everyone, that is my time. I thank you for joining me here. You don't have to watch these videos, but I truly appreciate you guys come over here and take the time to just shoot shit with me. I truly appreciate it. And once again, make sure that you like the content, share the content and subscribe to the channel because it helps the channel grow. We also have a podcast that we do on every Wednesday, but today we are talking about fragrances. These are the Teddy Files, and I am your resident sommelier, Mr. Dieris Teddy. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, beast and monsters, remember, over here, we don't do stink. So please, don't be a stink ass. Have a good evening.